Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ryan Olgren with Ico Productions. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to take a logo or some sort of JPEG image and we are going to make that into a vector image and then we're going to turn that into a 3D model and then from there I'm going to show you guys how to import it into Adobe After Effects to be able to animate that 3D model. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first thing that we're going to want to do here is go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator. And from Adobe Illustrator, we're gonna select File, Open, and we wanna select the image that we want to turn to a vector image. Go ahead and select Open. And here's our image. We wanna go ahead and, uh, in this case, I'm gonna resize it down a little bit. It's a little too big. All right, so what Adobe Illustrator will do here is it'll take each individual shape in this image and turn it into a 3D path. So the stars, the arch, the lettering in this case will all be turned into 3D paths based on their colors. So what we wanna do here is go ahead and select the image. Once you've selected the image, go up to Image Trace in your toolbar. And if you click the down arrow right next to image trace, you'll have you'll see a bunch of different options there. So we're just going to select defaults because I'm going to add color to this later. And with default selected, we can see that it's identified the colors. Now we want to go ahead and select expand. Now that we have our item expanded here, we can see that we have different paths for every single shape inside this image. Now, part of the reason why I did the default image trace is because sometimes with a pre-designed logo and you do a different color-based image trace, it can create additional paths that you don't necessarily need. So with the default image trace, it makes it very simple, very specific. So what we can do now is we can come in here and we can select different paths. Um, in this case, I want the stars to be separate. So I'm going to move those up a little bit, move those paths up. And then with the lettering, we want to go ahead and select the paths inside of each letter's holes, I guess you could say, and delete the paths inside there. If you don't do this, when you render it out in your 3D program, it will fill in the holes of each letter. So your O's will look like big circles instead of O's. So we wanna make sure that we, we delete the paths in each one of those. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, next thing we wanna do is go ahead and save our Adobe Illustrator project. And when we go ahead and hit save, um, the important thing to note here is that you want to change the version to Illustrator 8. This will allow you to transform this into a 3D model. Um, in my case, I'm using Cinema 4D, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up here. And from Cinema 4D, what we can do here, um, I've already created a model earlier I was working with, but just go ahead and select File, Merge Objects and select the image, uh, Adobe Illustrator vector image that we just created. Go ahead and open, press OK. And as you can see, we have all of our paths created right here in Cinema 4D. And the next step can be a little bit cumbersome because we have to extrude each one of these paths. And that can take some time because you have to extrude them each individually. We go up here to the uh, HyperNURBS option, um, just press and hold, or click and hold, and move over to Extrude NURBS. And what we want to do is take each one of these paths and dr drag it underneath Extrude NURBS, or put it inside of the Extrude option. So Extrude NURBS is the parent, and you can see how it turns that path into a 3D model. And an easy way to extrude everything that's in here is just go ahead and uh, copy and paste a blank extrude NURBS element several times and then just start dragging each 
path into that extrude nerves parent. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you real quick here. So this is what our logo looks like after we've extruded each one of these paths. In my case here, I can move each of these stars into their respective positions. And the reason why I made the stars separate is because if I didn't move them out of their space inside of the Illustrator project, then it would have made the arch and the stars all one object, one path. So I'm going to go ahead and move these stars and into their positions. All right, I've gone ahead and moved my stars into position here, but it doesn't quite look right. We want to go ahead and add some color here. So I'm going to come down to Create, New Material. And as you can see in our logo, uh, it is red, white, and blue. Red text, blue text, and blue arch, white stars. So our first material is going to be red. And I just want to go ahead and match it up with the image as much as possible. But uh, I see that the red is much brighter there. Let's go ahead and brighten that up. Now we can add our materials. So just for the sake of organization here, you can also rename all of your different paths, all your different objects, or in this case, path groups, by selecting one of them and hitting enter on your keyboard. Okay, so now we can add our materials. We'll add the red material to American Food Network, or American Food, rather. And we'll create a new material. We'll make that blue, light blue. And add that to Network. And also add that to Arch, since it's the same blue. And we'll create our last material here and make this completely white. We can just bring all of the RGB levels up and drag that onto our stars. So now we can see we have all of our colors just the same as the logo, except now they are in 3D. Okay, so we have our... 3D logo here, we can really see what it looks like by selecting the render option at, in your toolbar. We'll just uh, change the position here, really get an idea of what the color looks like. All right, so now we're ready to move on to the next step, which is importing this 3D model into After Effects for animation. So we want to go ahead and select File, Save As, and just name it whatever you want, as long as it has that C4D extension or whatever respective 3D modeling software you're using. And let's go ahead and open up After Effects. All right, so we've got After Effects open. One thing I do want to note here is in order to import your 3D model, you're going to want a program, a plugin rather, called Element 3D. And you can get this from videocopilot.net. You'll see Element 3D is one of the first plugin options for sale here. They've got a bunch of different options that, and different pricing options, packages that you can buy. But let's assume that you've already downloaded and installed Element 3D. We're going to go up here to Composition, New Composition. And we're going to name this AFN for American Food Network. We'll keep the frame rate at 30. And we'll change our duration down to five seconds. Uh, this animation will only be a couple seconds long. Now I'm not going to show you how to do the full animation here. I'm going to go ahead and get you started. So the first thing we want to do here is go up to Layer, New, Camera, and keep all the attributes the same. Press OK. Then we're going to go ahead and create another new layer. Select Solid. And this is going to be our Element 3D layer. We want to keep all the attributes the same as the composition. So go ahead and select OK. And then we're going to select Effect. Go all the way down to Video Copilot and select Element 3D. 
Once Element 3D is opened up, go ahead and select Scene Setup in your Effects panel on the left. And this is what Element 3D's interface looks like. But we're not going to really touch any of this. We're just going to select Import in the upper left hand corner. Find our Cinema 4D file. Select Import 3D Object. And we can leave all the preferences the way that they should be. Press OK. And you can see our colors are imported and the logo is imported just as it was in Cinema 4D. So that's pretty much it. We can just go ahead and press OK in the upper right hand corner. And now we've got our 3D model inside of After Effects. If we come up here to the camera tools, we can orbit around our 3D object. Of course, there are a lot of different attributes here in After Effects that you can change in order to make your logo look really cool and a lot of different animations that you can do here. But this is just a basic tutorial on how to take your logo image, turn it into a 3D model, and take that 3D model, put it into After Effects, and get it ready for animation. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. I'll be coming out with some additional, more advanced tutorials with Adobe After Effects and Element 3D. Uh, but in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at icopromedia.com or facebook.com slash icopromedia. Thanks for watching.